Do you, Terence Leslie Brooks, take Victoria Bloody Muz Jackson Cow to be your lawful wedded wife, even though she has never pulled a pint in her life? <laughs> Too bloody right! Go! What result? Yes! <laughs> times, Terry? You're supposed to say, I do. I do. But I'm going to marry Miss Jackson. I, I can't believe the bloody luck. That's not the point. You should follow the wedding service in the good book to the letter. Else your union will be barren. He's already got her pregnant, you stupid old bastard. <laughs> I'll have to try again. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake, we have been going through this sad pantomime of the marriage ceremony all day and he still has not got it correct. My knees are killing me and I need a shitting drink. Well, I really enjoyed it, Terry. I'd be proud to be your wife. Get off. <sighs> Always the bridesmaid. All right, all right, we'll take a break then. Give us a pint, Steve. Aren't you going to take that dress off? No. <laughs> well, why go to all that bother when I've just got to put it back on again? <laughs> Got the Chris for the stag night. My Chris, my beautiful last Chris is a free man. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is a woman I'm going to marry. Terry, you're about to marry Ms Jackson. Oh, yeah, bollocks, I forgot. <laughs> uh, you'll be paying for the stag night up front as usual. Of course, sir. Um... Look, um, uh, Gov, I want to thank you for sorting this all out for me. You're my best mate in the old world. Yeah, about that, Terry. I thought I was going to be your best man. Oh, yeah, sorry, Gov. I, I, I forgot I promised Gary. <laughs> Bastard. Anyway, you're conducting the ceremony. Are you sure landlords are legally allowed to conduct marriages? Yeah, of course. It's vicars, landlords and captains of football teams. <laughs> Ludicrous. Morning, fellas. It's six o'clock in the evening, Davo. A bonus. You want to go back to bed, Jello? Hardly seems worth it. The only thing you've managed to raise in the bedroom this last week is a smile. <laughs> oh, hey, I get it. Hey, I get it. So the implication that Dave oh, has a dysfunction of the erectile tissue of his penis is hilarious, <laughs> although disappointing. Look at his face. Can you see what it is yet? <laughs> it's a picture. <laughs> Don't hang shit on me, Grandpa. I'm an Aussie. I reckon I'm the Aussiest bloke in the world. Yes, we know! The only way I could be any more Aussie than I am now would be if I had, like, a tail and two massive feet and, like, a, a pouch Shut on up! my baby. <laughs> anyway, Steve-O and I reckon this place isn't very Aussie. I mean, you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> would it be all right if we whacked up an Aussie flag? Yeah, all right. Be my guest. Thanks, mate. Johnny, how long is this Ponce boyfriend of yours staying? I want him to leave, but he just won't take the hint. Watch. Hey, Davo, will you piss off back to Australia? How do you mean? <laughs> oh, you're great, Davo. Thanks, Steve-O. I'm learning how to be an Aussie, like you. Gee, day, mate. <laughs> Why are you looking for a dink arm? <laughs> Steve-O, that's fantastic. But if you want to be really Aussie like me, you have to do this. <laughs> this is pretty Aussie. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful country out here. <laughs> so, uh, how many times have you been engaged now, Gaspets? I don't keep count. I don't know, Terry. All these times you've been engaged but never got married. It's not normal! <laughs> not only that, it's not fair. It's like having all the fun of committing a murder without actually having to go to prison. Oh, uh, it cannot be as good as that. <laughs> hey, Bond Hedo, what do you reckon of this? Yeah, it's not bad, but do you mind if I make a couple of adjustments? <laughs> oh, no, no. That's much better. <laughs> She's your queen, too! That's all right, Mr Jackson. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Hello! Good day! <laughs> Hello, Mrs Brooks. All ready for Saturday? Yeah, who's the gorilla? I'm Miss Victoria's minder. I could be so good for you. <laughs> do you remember that programme? Yeah, for once I actually do. Yeah, I love that show. I identified with the barman. Daddy can't be here for the actual wedding. He's in Africa bulldozing orphanages to make way for munition factories. 
So he's hired him to make sure I don't do a runner before we get hitched. Jeez, you are one ugly bastard. Did you get whacked in the gob with the ugly stick or what? Hey, watch it, pal. Oh, he don't spin out. I'm only pranking. Dave, I was a prankster. No, 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 Steve. I'm not a prankster. I'm the prankster. I'm a prankosaurus. I'm, I'm General Pranko. I'm, I'm Prankenstein's monster. Frankenstein. Are you Australian? Oh, mate. Am I Australian? Because <laughs> I fucking hate Australian. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm not Australian. Oh, oh no, I, I must be the least Australian person in the world. <laughs> Lucky for you, man. I am. I'm an Aussie. Terry, I need to talk to you. <laughs> he thought I was Australian. <laughs> I've come to ask you to reconsider. Uh, well, you know, sorry, babes. I, I've already paid for the stag night. I'll reimburse you. Plus, I work for a brewery. If you don't marry me, I can get you free beer for life. Well, I don't know. And a 10% discount on all crisps, excluding luxury crisps. You're kidding. <laughs> I love crisps, me. The wedding's off! <laughs> if you don't marry Miss Victoria, I'm going to rip out your testicles and crush them into testicle dust in a testicle crushing machine. Then I'm going to place them in a very big cannon and shoot them up into the heart of the sun. <laughs> The wedding's back on! Yay! Oh, this is minging! <laughs> Look, Janet, I know I'm not exactly your fave person, but uh, surely you can help me. Hmm. Well, I'll help you organise your hen party. <laughs> we can have it here tomorrow night. No, 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 Vicky can't come here. It's my last night as, as a free man. You tell her, Gov. No, no, you'd be more than welcome, girls. Double the takings. <laughs> Lots of money. I'm playing a prank on the govo, you know. Don't tell him, will you? No, we can furries. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Have you seen my hat? Oh. <laughs> Steve, you got this Aussie thing down pat. That's fantastic. Oh, I know. The only way I could be more Aussie is if I was in an Australian remake of that film, The Fly, and unbeknownst to me, a kangaroo hopped into one of my telepods. <laughs> Shit, Steve, that wouldn't be very Aussie. That'd just be like some weird conglomeration of man and marsupial. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Davo. Help me be more Aussie. Well, if you want to be really Aussie, what you got to do is go to Australia. That's great, but I couldn't afford it. Well, I'll lend you the money. Really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Morning, slubs. Oh, Greg Thompson won. Unexpected pleasure. Yeah, I'm just on my way to Landlord of the Year Awards. Surely I can't win it again this time. You deserve it. Too true, slubs. Too true. You are my little Dairy Lee Dunker. When are you going to come work for me, then? When hell is chosen as the venue for the Winter Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> I like water sports myself. Don't I, love? Oh, Greg. Hey, Bucko, are you looking at my girlfriend's tits? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good ones, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I said you had nice tits. God, women, there's no pleasing them. Are you Australian, mate? Oh, am I Australian? Yes, I... he is bloody Australian! <laughs> you can't be stopping, cos later on I'm gonna let you polish my trophy. It's 16 inches high with a head the size of a cricket ball. <laughs> I'm implying I've got a massive cock. <laughs> You still wearing that? I couldn't get it off, Gav. <laughs> oh. I love stag nights, cos you get pissed at a stag night and getting pissed is pretty Aussie. <laughs> the only way I could be any more Aussie than that would be 
if I was made out of wool. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol. Is that a problem? No, not at all. You're still Aussie. Cheers. Yeah, Miss Victoria's having a lovely time. Jaxie, cheer up. It's your head night. You're meant to be having fun. Have a drink. No, that's what got me into this trouble in the first place. Oh, now, come on. You need to look on the funny side. <laughs> Dunno! <laughs> Sorry, pal. No mythical half-man, half-beast creatures in here. <laughs> now, go. It's me. Terry! You master of disguise, you! <laughs> I'm a stag! <laughs> of course, you know why men have stag nights and women have end nights, don't you? Yeah? Because that's the way men and women see themselves, isn't it? Yeah? Men, you see, men see themselves as stags, yeah? Mighty noble beasts, yeah? Every nerve, fibre and sinew alive with the possibilities of nature's glory, yeah? Stags! Tussling with their antlers! Tussling for the right to service and dominate submissive doves, yeah? Whereas women have hen nights, cos they see themselves as hens. Puffed up, clucking creatures. Little more than egg-laying machines. <laughs> Woken every morning by an insistent cock. I wish! Lay off me, Jano. Jeez, if a blown-up condom attached to you doesn't cheer you up, nothing will! What's this? Now, don't pretend you don't know, slapper! Come on, have a drink! Janet, I'm pregnant! Jaxie, this is gas pants, kid! It's gonna be 50% proof as it is! Yeah, and the way I see it, you should start kids on booze as soon as you can. I mean, they're pissing and puking themselves as it is. Why wait another 18 years? Back off, Brussels! <laughs> to have a baby, Johnny. Man alive, I never thought I'd be having one with him. Uh, this is my impression on an express train. <laughs> Oi, Terry, here's to your little one. <laughs> Who told you about that? I meant your baby. Oh, right, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My baby, eh? It's a beautiful thing having a baby, Terry. Yeah, you cherish that kid. Yeah, you clutch it to your breast, you hold it tight and you never let it go. Unless, of course, it's being sick, in which case, hold it to one side and aim it at its mother. <laughs> Miss Popeye, that's all. I remember when my Stan was born. He was so perfect. I felt I was in heaven when he grasped my finger in his tiny hand. What I didn't know then was that those hands would go on to strangle a whole cage full of monkeys. <laughs> Rather spoils the moment in hindsight. Hey, Jenna, cop this. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Davo. Oh, Davo, you are such a prankster. You're even funnier than Cheeky Alan Supple. Or well, let me try. It does burn. <laughs> you know, you and I are not so different, Janet. We're both saddled with horrible men we can't get rid of. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I mean, even though I hate him, I can't resist the dirty, scuzzy bastard. But at least I'm not so stupid as to get pregnant like some kind of troll. Of... <laughs> Wait, come on, Prof. No, no. Let's rock. I do not believe. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I we are men. I can't. We are stags. No, no, no. Let's fight with our antlers no, to see no. who is the most dominant. <laughs> oh, come on, Prof. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> You? Dressed up as the horned man himself? <laughs> you know what to do? Oh, shut off, mother! <laughs> oh, dare you speak to me like that? Have you been drinking? Yes. And smoking and dressing up as a stag and cavorting with this man. And I loved it. Oi! <laughs> Piss off, 
You ugly old harridan! <laughs> When you have sobered up, you will have to come home. And I promise you, you will be paddled until your ass is red raw. Red <laughs> the big paddle. <laughs> now, <laughs> I shall pray for you. <laughs> oh, my word. The, the, the big paddle? What, what, what have I, have I done? <laughs> What's wrong with us, Jexy? If the prof can stand up to his mum, we can stand up to these bastards. Hey, Jano, there's something I want to ask you. Like, you know, I reckon you're a real top chick in that, and, like, uh, I love the way you wash me undies and you laugh at all the funny things I say in that, and uh, you're a real top root, you know, when I can crack a stivvy. So, uh, <laughs> you know, what do you reckon? Do you want to get married in that? Shit, yeah. Oh, top, so I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Let's hear it for the beer! Cheers! All hail to the ale! Cheers! And welcome to wine! For the ladies! <laughs> so, Gov, guess who won the Landlord of the Year Award this year? Greg Thompson? No, 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 no. Your dear old Uncle Barry finally oh. did it! Barry, you beat him! Justice! Yes, yes. So that silly ninny will have to eat humble pie tonight. The cocksure little fucker. <laughs> Barry, that's pucker. I made up for you. Shall we pop the shampoo? Oi, Barry, you know I won't have that French muck in here. <laughs> hey, give it here. I'm celebrating. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, shit. Uh, sorry, mate. <laughs> no harm done. It could happen to anybody. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jexy's on the grog again. Watch out, the nympho's about. Come to Daddy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now I'm drunk again. The mists are clearing. I didn't come back here after leaving the Queen of Hearts on gay night. I never even saw Terry. I've been crumbled. <laughs> I went to the Swan. <laughs> I remember everything. Been a lovely night. Thank you. You're doing fine. <laughs> Hello there. Miss Jackson, what are you doing here? You know very well, Barry. Now, now, Vicky, let's not be hasty. I think you've had a few too many. Maybe you should be in bed. Now you're getting the idea. Miss Jackson, you tried to seduce me. You bet. Do you remember that programme? No. And I must warn you that I'm a recovering sexaholic. <laughs> oh, keep it up, Barry. You're doing fine. <laughs> Did that actually happen? I've assumed it was a dream. <laughs> I've seen the old dog yet. <laughs> well then, Cherry Blossom, if you're the father, you'll have to marry Miss Victoria. I don't think so, mate. I'll stand by you, Vicky. Help you raise the child. I'm ashamed to say that I was never that responsible in my youth. But now, in the winter of my life, I have a chance to make up for it. But as a committed atheist, it would be hypocritical of me to marry you. Warm up the testicle crushing machine, will you? <laughs> if you think you can cope and have a go, all right. If you think you're hard enough, but I have to warn you that I am an expert at fight dynamics. All right, all right. I'm not going to touch him. You ain't heard the last of this. Barry, my hero. Oh, get a grip, Barry. Get a grip. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Barry. You know, Gov, with all this talk of paternity, I want you to know that I really am... Your dear old dad would have been proud of you. 
You're a good lad, really. Thanks, Uncle Barry. Come on, lads. Jill it again. <laughs> Leslie, I, I, I don't suppose there's any. <laughs> no, I thought not. Look at me. All dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> ah, well. A math's a math. <laughs> What a day, eh? Still, at least I got a lovely till chock full of beautiful bloody money. Ah! <laughs> Where's the money gone? Somebody's probably pinched it. I bet you it was an Aussie. Pinching money is one of the Aussiest things you can do. Who do you reckon's the Aussiest person here? Me! 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 I'm Aussie! Well, come on then, Crosby. Turn out your pockets. So it was you, Steve. Oh, Dave old gave me that. I didn't know such thing. Steve. How could you do this to me? After all I've done for you over these years. You get out! Never darken this door again! But I'm your barman. I have no barman! Go! <coughs> well, uh, if there's a job going. <laughs> <laughs> An Aussie, bred for bar work. It's instinct. E no, you can't do it! E I told you to get out! <laughs> instinct. Oh, back. No, you won't. You are bad! <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> nah, never confused. <laughs> What are you doing down here? Uh, look, I can't stay. You, you know, I left Australia to get away from that stinking dagger. I'll, I'll go home. No, no, Jenny, you can't go. I, I, I've grown accustomed to your face. And... Yeah, it's been a year. <laughs> Christ, what's that? I cannot go home. My mother will kill me. Oh, get out, Prof. Go on. Jenny, <laughs> ah. Jenny. No! 